Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Science by Mr. Healy. And today's episode will be looking at Sigmatron boards with parallel circuits. So we've looked in the past at Sigmatron boards and how to use them with series circuits and how to connect ammeters and voltmeters, but now let's look at parallel circuits. Of course we'll be using an ammeter and a voltmeter again, a jumper to connect and a resistor, and of course our design plan to help us prepare our Sigmatron board. Now let's say we wish to create the following simple circuit with a Sigmatron board. Uh, what you see here is a parallel circuit with two branching and voltmeters attached in parallel and three ammeters attached uh, in series at different spots. In here we have an ammeter that uh, takes into account the total amps and here the current for uh, the first resistor, here the current for the second resistor and of course the voltmeter for the first resistor and a voltmeter for the second resistor. Now here's our, here's our design plan and I'm just going to show you one option. I think you can try out the others on your own. But as an option, uh, again, we have this circuit in mind. Uh, let's go with the following. So as you can see, I have two jumpers, uh, four jumps or, uh, jumpers actually, and uh, oops, actually five jumpers. Sorry about that. And two resistors, and they make a par uh, they make a parallel uh, circuit. Notice the branching going on here. So now let's try to redraw that circuit, but again, taking into account Kirchhoff's laws, and we're dealing with parallel circuits where current is the addition of each of the uh, currents and voltage is equal everywhere, and resistance has its own uh, formula. Now again, the circuit uh, that we had before, we're redrawing it, and of course we know that it is a parallel circuit, and now also just to show you that electricity is being split up between both branches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, connect the voltmeters. Again, we're connecting them in, in parallel. So here's a voltmeter here with a measure of 20 volts and another voltmeter here with a measure of 20 volts. Again, they do have the same reading because you are in a parallel circuit and according to Kirchhoff's law, the voltage is the same everywhere. Now, uh, when you're going to do the lab, it may not be so because of loss of voltage uh, due to loss of energy from heat or from old uh, equipment. Now let's say if I get rid of my voltmeters and now I want to see where I can put my ammeters. Well, there are uh, many ways of putting ammeters in here, but let's get rid of these jumpers and attach the ammeters like so. Now here, this ammeter is measuring the total current, which is two amps. Uh, the first branch receives 0 0.5 amps and the second branch receives 1.5 amps, which adds up to give you a total of two amps. Now looking at the Sigmatron board, I'm going to show you again one option where we can hook them up. And as you can see again, we have ourselves a parallel circuit with a branch here and a branch there. And I'm going to get rid of some of these jumpers and show you where I can put my ammeters and voltmeters. So here we can put the, the ammeters in series. There's an ammeter here, an ammeter here, an ammeter there. This one of course is measuring the total current. This one is measuring the current going to resistor 1. And this is measuring the current going coming back from resistor 2. And of course I put my voltmeters here in parallel. And that's it. 